everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Christina and I share all my own experiences with all things beauty so if you're looking for the best and most honest reviews and how to's from a consumer's perspective then please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave any questions or comments down below in the comments for me before we get into my curly hair routine really quickly I just wanted to shout out Ana Luisa jewelry you guys have heard me talk about them before on my channel and they create some very high quality but inexpensive jewelry pieces I'm wearing some pieces right now that they've gifted to me I love that their prices are so fair their pieces are so timeless I also wanted to note that they are carbon neutral so they offset a hundred percent of their carbon emission so I just think that they're so great and they are running an amazing Black Friday deal right now it's BOGO 50% off I'll leave the link down below for you guys so you can shop easily so what I'm currently wearing, I have the Paris earrings, which are these twisted hoop earrings. I have the Heritage necklace set, so it's just two chains right here and they're actually two separate necklaces so you don't have to worry about them twisting constantly because they're on the same chain like i've had that issue before in the past with older jewelry and you don't have to worry about that because these are two separate pieces and then i also have a matching twisted ring right here and this is in the bold one so they have slim and they also have bold and i went with the bold and i love it i find that these pieces have become my everyday staples along with a couple of other Ana Luisa uh, pieces so I'm not gonna lie I just I really love them if you're looking to buy some jewelry pieces for some loved ones during the holidays or if you're just looking to find some jewelry for yourself during the holidays I highly recommend checking out Ana Luisa especially right now for the Black Friday sales I feel like their pieces are such good quality I haven't had any issues yet their prices start at $39 which is really great and I am sure that you're bound to find at least a couple of pieces that are gonna suit you so check it out in the description down below so in this video I want to talk all about my curly hair routine and my most favorite drugstore products I've shared with you guys my perm journey I've shared how I use the Denman brush if you haven't seen those videos yet I'll link them in the box below for you but this video I wanted to focus on a very quick and easy no fuss type of hair routine for curly hair I know styling curly hair can be a task especially if you're transitioning to curly hair or you just don't really know exactly what your hair likes to do I find that these products that I've used in this video today give me a really great result that I'm usually very happy with and a result that lasts a few days for me longevity is really important definition and frizz control is super important I'm sure like everybody else I have tried a ton of drugstore products because the key is finding amazing products that are inexpensive you know what I mean so I've tried a ton and these are currently my favorite drugstore products all right so the first two products that I use are in the shower to wash my hair it is the Manuka honey and Mephora oil intensive hydration shampoo and the deep hydration like mask I don't use the regular conditioner I have in the past but currently I'm using the deep conditioner because I find my hair really really loves the moisture from it I really love this shampoo and conditioner because it's so hydrating and my hair just loves the hydration from it but also I really like that the shampoo lathers I'm not a huge fan of non lathering shampoos because I've always been used to ones that lather I like the feeling of it and I feel like it really like cleanses my hair so I like the way that this lathers some people may not the smell is really great as well and I love the deep conditioner and also the conditioner for this matter but both of them really detangle my hair so I'm able to just run it through my hair and kind of use my fingers to rake through and detangle before I go in with my wet brush I do have a wet brush to get rid of the tangles in my hair because I find that just using my fingers is not enough I really like to get all of the tangles out before I go and style my hair because I find it's a lot easier especially when I'm using something like the Denman brush to brush through and really create the ringlets in my hair so right out of the shower I like to use a deep conditioner before I used to be really hesitant about using a deep conditioner because I felt like it was gonna weigh down my hair but then I realized that I really needed it because I needed something 
to stay in my hair to keep the moisture in once I washed all of the shampoo and conditioner out. I have been using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It is a very thick consistency. You definitely have to use a small amount if your hair gets weighed down really easily. So the next step for me is cream and cream is something that I'll use in my hair every time that I want to style. I'll switch back and forth from a couple but today I used the Cantu for natural hair moisturizing curl activator cream and this is a very thick consistency as well. So you don't need a lot of this. It can weigh your hair down if you have hair like I do. If you've tried this before and it's too thick for your hair, try the Not Your Mother's uh, Curl Defining Cream. That one is really good. I like to use that in the shower and then it'll just create really good curl clumps for me. And it feels a lot more lightweight than this one does, but it still helps with moisture in your hair. So I take a bit of this and then I'll rub it between my fingers and I'll just rake it through my hair and really disperse it. I don't put it at the roots and I start from like the midsections down and I really just work it through my hair. And then once I'm done raking it in, I'll go ahead and start scrunching my hair to just kind of encourage those curls before we actually go in with a brush. My next product is probably my most favorite drugstore product and it's the one that I've been using the most consistently since perming my hair. It is the Not Your Mother's Curl Top Curl Activating Mousse. I love this because it creates so much hold. It creates a cast in your hair, so there's definitely a cast that you have to kind of scrunch out once it's dry, but I love it because it can act like a gel and a finishing a styling product by itself. If your hair gets weighed down by gels, try using a mousse because it gives you that same volume and that same hold, but it feels a lot more lightweight in your hair. And I'll put this all over the hair. I'll even put it in the roots because like I said, it doesn't weigh my hair down, so I can put it up in the roots so it creates like frizz control up there. And then I'll rake it through. And then after I put my mousse in, I'll take my Denman brush and start to just like brush through to really distribute all of the product throughout my hair. I won't like section off my hair a ton if it's just like a quick curly hair routine. I won't do the whole sectioning off all the time. Sometimes I'll just go from side to side. So I'll start on my left side and then go to my right. And I'll just go and take some chunks, curl it, do the little ringlet style that I do with my Denman brush. If you guys haven't seen that video, please make sure to check it out so you know what I'm talking about. But I'll do that all throughout my hair. So once the mousse is completely through my hair and I've gone in with my Denman brush, sometimes I'll use gel, sometimes I won't. Today I did. I use a super small amount of gel and I'll just put a little bit on my fingertips rub it through my hands and then I will just scrunch with it. So I'll create a bit of a cast on the outside of the ringlets. I'm not raking my fingers or anything. I'm just like coating the outside of the hair with the gel. And then I'll just do a really, really good scrunch until I see that all of the hair is nicely coated and all the ringlets are like nice and bouncy. And then I'll go in with my diffuser. If I want the most volume out of my hair, I will diffuse even if it's just for a little bit. I won't dry it all the way every single time. Sometimes I'll dry it to about 90% and then let it air dry the rest of the way through. It just really helps to create some volume in my roots. It gets the hair up off of the scalp and really dries it that way. I'll flip my head over and blow dry um, and I'll just move side to side. And the only time that the diffuser is actually touching my hair is when I'm pushing the roots up or whenever I'm doing a very last like scrunch with the diffuser at the bottom of my hair. But that's about it because we don't wanna create any type of frizz in the hair. Also what I like to do whenever I'm diffusing as well as just like letting it air dry the rest of the way through, I will flip my hair like back and forth. So I'll go from this side and then I'll flip it over and let it dry this way or diffuse it this way. And the reason I like to do that is because you're really encouraging the hair to lift itself on either side and not to like lay flat 
on either side that you have. I like to have a good amount of hold in my hair because when I style it, I want it to last a couple of days. So I do like that cast in there. And then once my hair is completely dry, I will scrunch out the crunch and I'll just take my hands and just scrunch it all out. Sometimes I'll use oil, sometimes I won't. Um, today I did not because I wanted to keep a little bit of that cast in there. So I went ahead and I scrunched and then I'll take my fingers and I'll just like zhuzh up the scalp and get that hair off of the scalp and I'll pull the ringlets apart until I'm happy with how big each little ringlet is. So I feel like I finally have found drugstore products that you know, don't weigh my hair down and they give me the results that I want. It's definitely important the amount of product that you use as well. Sometimes, you know, I've used a product like the Cantu one. At first when I had tried it, I was like, oh, this is so heavy. It weighs down my hair so much. Like this is not going to work for me. But I learned that I have to use like half of the amount that I was using initially and then rake that through my hair and it'll still give me the effect that I want. You just really have to play around with the products and see how much works for you, in what combination it'll work for you. And it definitely is a lot. So I'm hoping that this video kind of gives you guys some insight and helps you figure out you know, if a product might work for your type of hair. So let me know if you guys have ever tried these drugstore products out, or if you have other Holy Grail products from the drugstore that you think that I should try out because we have like similar hair types. Again, make sure you guys check out Ana Luisa's sale. They're doing their Black Friday BOGO 50% off sale, which is amazing. I haven't seen them do this so far so i'm really excited for it i'm planning on picking up a couple of pieces myself so i'll leave that in the description for you guys below for your convenience so that's everything for this video i hope that you guys found it helpful i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye